Hello Aquarius, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing wonderful and amazing. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And for those that are returning, thank you very much. Welcome back. Aquarius, cross watchers, this is a safe channel, a safe place for everyone. And I know you have things to do. I know you all have, you know, you're all uh, responsibilities and all that, which means your time is very important. It's very precious. I'm going to jump straight into it. Here we go. I'll clear the deck for you first, Aquarius. I'll be using the Everyday Witch Tarot. Look at that. Okay, they want to come out already. <laughs> I'll be using the Everyday Witch Tarot and I'll be clarifying with the Mystical Cat Tarot. All right, Aquarius. Now, um, I've been mentioning this also to all the other star signs, all the other videos that I have been doing. Um, I've been receiving pretty much the same request, a very similar request that a lot of you would like to know the topic of what is really going on between you and your person, um, such as their true thoughts and feelings and what is the next step. So for example, I find out pretty early if you are in connection with your person or not. That That's pretty easy for me. Um, but for those that are in connection and you want to know, you know, should we take this to the next level or what is going to happen at the next level? Are you on a break? Are you completely disconnected from your person? In other words, you know, it, has it been a breakup? Doesn't matter how long it's been, but uh, are there any changes, insights, clarity that you should be knowing about? But what is really going on? So this is perfect Aquarius for those that don't have all the answers, that have that lack of clarity, or perhaps are struggling with closure here. We are just confused. It's like, I just really don't know what's happening. So let's see. My room is smelling absolutely amazing. I'm mm. actually burning, look at this salted caramel popcorn um if there's one thing i'm obsessed about is collection of tarot cards i think i've got more than 100 candles and stationery that's the only thing i i am um, absolutely obsessed obsessed with so all right aquarius please and their person what is really really going on we have a highlighted message there thank you very much two more all right, that's a sign. We've got to stop shuffling. Thank you, Spirit. I just don't want to see the cards. Here we go. Now, we have a highlighted message or dominant message that has made an appearance. Now, this will be a pretty powerful message. It's a pretty powerful card. It can actually be a platform and really kind of just push the rest of the reading. It could show a specific feeling, action, change towards you, Aquarius. Let's see. What is it? Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra energy. Now, all knights mean changes and messages. Aquarius, you just happen to get the absolute fastest knight. There are only four knights in the tarot deck and this is the fastest one. Look at the sheer look of determination on this person's face. And the sword is pointing up. Now, when a sword is pointing up, it definitely is the opposite of blocked or no communication. We have communication coming towards you. Literally, in the next coming weeks, if we're talking about timing, Aquarius, someone literally cannot get to you fast enough and they will be talking to you um, about perhaps a conversation that is desperately needed to move forward or even to reconcile. So take it as your situation resonates. But they, there is some kind of change that your person wants, though. I want to see more. More, please. The Two of Swords. Libra energy, there's a bit of indecisiveness on how to approach you. What they do know is that action has to be taken though. So this is a good question. Perhaps you're not talking to your person right now. For those that are talking, I'm just gonna say it's a little bit kind of sporadic. It's a bit on and off. It might be a little bit awkward, but it's just like today we're talking, tomorrow we're not talking, you know, oh, they haven't messaged me all week, for example here. Um, but yeah, it's it's more about, I don't know how to approach Aquarius. I don't even know what to say. I may fumble, I may stumble on my words and I want to approach Aquarius correctly though. Now, some of you may not even, you may be on the fence whether to even accept conversation from this person or not. Depends. Depends what happened. What happened? Okay, no wonder. Wow, okay. Aquarius, now I understand if you're on the fence about this. Look at this. We have the Three of Swords. More Libra energy. Now your person literally could be any star sign. So we won't get too fixated on that. But as you can see that damage has been done in this connection to the point where there is no one. 
It's empty. Your person unfortunately did a very good job of breaking your heart. So I always kind of use that analogy that unfortunately they did a good job of breaking your heart. This literally was a third party situation such as infidelity. Whether you were the third party and you probably didn't know about it or you did or they had a third party, whether you knew about it or not. This of course could also even be some interference from a family member, a co-worker, a friend, could actually even present work or even travel. Whatever this Three of Swords represents for you, Aquarius, you know what it is. And your heart was broken. In fact, I know this sounds very dramatic, but I will say this, Aquarius. When we see the Three of Swords, nobody wins and everybody's heart is broken, which is why they don't know how to approach you. And also it's like you don't even know how to even respond to this person because of what happened. Moving on, yeah, Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. See how all the swords, swords are already lodged in this person's back? This has already happened. Now, this is about loss, ending, separation, divorce. But there are very big feelings here, Aquarius, where you're feeling quite cheated and betrayed by this person. And literally, if we look at the image here, your person could have actually done a runner. They could have ghosted you. We're even looking at the cat here because illustration, yes, believe it or not, is very important. People around you may have been quite stunned by your person's actions here, leaving you pretty much rock bottom. Now, if there's anything positive with this, the Ten of Swords is considered the absolute worst card. We don't want to see it, but we got it. But the sun's rising up here in the background. So the only place for you, Aquarius, to go is up now. This is done. All tens represent the end of a cycle. The issue is, is that your person may want reconciliation. Now, they're asking for a lot here. I'm going to be honest. Because the pain, the anguish, the stress that your person put you towards the end was massive. So to actually come back and say, hey, can we even talk and be friends? They're asking you for quite a lot here, Aquarius, and you have every right here to say no to them. Some of you may have been in a very committed relationship where you're, it feels like you were practically married. Some of you were actually married to this person as well. This might have been a twin flame relationship as well where perhaps you were running them they were you know they were running away from you and now they're running to you and you're you know the runner and the chaser in other words um but clearly with aries energy there they want reconciliation i'm going to say it they're asking for a lot here mm. let's get to the first line what do we have the head of the reading is the wheel of fortune now all of this will directly impact you though you will feel it. The Wheel of Fortune is a beautiful card. It is ahead of your reading, but you are in here. We have four fixed signs. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Okay. Would you say there is unfinished business, even in your heart? Because according, you know, even if you think, no, no, we're done. According to your person, there is unfinished business. So they're coming back. You see, this is a brand new cycle that they want because the Wheel of Fortune does represent cycles now. And I want to move forward with you. Again, I think they're asking you for a lot though. But of course, that th Three of Swords will represent something very different for everyone. Yep, Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. They want it all with you. Wow. This very well might be the case of they did not know what they had until it was gone. And when they lost you, Aquarius, they lost a whole lot more. Yep, they want it all with you. Reconciliation, family, children, commitment or marriage here, carrying on family traditions. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. So let's talk about, you know, the pink elephant in the room. What does that devil represent to you? Because the devil is the complete opposite of temperance. It's the card of extremes here. It's too much of something. Perhaps, for example, your person was emotionally attached to you. They were ruled by temptation here by a third party. Uh, and of course, it is about domination. It's about control. It's about pulling here obsession lust over you but i'm getting here that what ultimately put that wedge what broke both of you up was that your person was tempted by a third party or at least they had someone else's back and this third party is someone very toxic let's see the eight of pentacles virgo energy you might have met this person through work through your studies somehow connected to your finances or your friends or professional network of friends and even if that's not the case, Aquarius, it seems here that your person are literally going to have to create miracles and move mountains because it seems here they want to work on this. Now, remember, Aquarius, you do not have to even talk to this person if you don't want to. But just letting you know as a heads up that this is definitely coming towards you, especially with the fastest night. Let's talk about the beating heart of your reading. 
Four of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy. There is a refusal. Your person is obsessively not letting you go because they want to work on this. They're not letting the past go. And I feel here they know that perhaps you are holding on to that anger, that frustration, those feelings of betrayal, which were very unjust, very unfair. Now they want to turn the cycle. They want to move forward. Mm. I like here in a way how you are kind of in protective mode. You're keeping your cards very close to your chest, though. The Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Now we know why your person's holding back. <laughs> Guilty conscience, fear, anxiety, believing in the worst case scenario. This person has hurt you to the point where you're actually a bit of a recluse. You're holding back. It's almost like I cannot trust anyone here at the moment. Hmm. Last line, please, before I clarify. The Knight of Wands, the second fastest knight now. Very strong Sagittarius. Aries, possibly a Leo. This is the traveling knight and it's all my call to action knight. So you've got two knights that represent direct action towards you to work on this and, you know, let's get the wheel turning here. Sometimes the knight of wands, not always, but I am seeing the devil and the three of swords. I am seeing the ten of swords. Perhaps this indicated that this person in your life in the past was very unreliable, was a hothead. Perhaps I had a temper tantrum. My way or the highway. I'm just passionate. This is what the way I am. All those excuses, um, which really is not a king or a queen. It's just a page or a knight. Can often represent a player, someone that is wishy-washy, that thinks it's okay to be in and out of Aquarius's life until you're like, yeah, no, I'm going to break that cycle. But here they come. Let's talk about the near future. The Hermit, Virgo energy. I still see you holding back. Aquarius, I think that's very smart of you. This is the wise sage ruled by Virgo. Listen, your person has learned big lessons, but it doesn't mean we have to talk and take back everyone. And of course, if you do, it's going to be different for everyone. We know that. The theme is the same, but the situation will be very different here. I just see you kind of looking within. You're not saying yes. You're not saying no to this person. You're just doing a lot of soul searching, analyzing this situation from all different angles. What would the future look like with this person? Outcome, please. The tower. Scorpio energy. You might say no to this person. One more. Yeah, you might take action here away. There could, definitely could have been a third party. Sometimes the Queen of Wands, not always, but sometimes the Queen of Wands can represent someone that does create drama. This third party might still be hanging around and I feel here that you're going to make the tower fall on them. Let's see, I want more information, please. Mm. I think they underestimated you. There you are, the Six of Swords. Aquarius energy, I see you moving on. Yeah. As the saying goes, it's better to be alone than with bad company. And I think you're really understanding that now, Aquarius. Let's see. Why would people underestimate you? Aquarius, you are known literally as the most intelligent star sign, the scientific mind. Um, and honestly, if, if there was any way they tried to undermine you or they think they can get away with something, they're going to be sorely surprised here. Two more. Last one. All right, Aquarius, here we go. Ace of Pentacles, you may have a new start somewhere else, something that is solid, something that is promising. Interesting. Aquarius, have you recently met anyone or is there a friend that you're seeing differently or a co-worker? If not, we have someone new coming into your life. This is a brand new love. This is, this is, it's almost like the energies are completely different. More, please. Yep. Yeah, this is someone new. The world. Again, this will impact you because we have Aquarius here as well. So it's the same four fixed signs, just like the um, Wheel of Fortune. So this is definitely the end of a cycle. Aquarius, you are going to put your foot down. This is the end. And it's going to be a tower moment, not for you. It's going to be a tower moment for them. And I'm sorry, but they deserve it. I don't like to see anyone suffer, but to think this person can waltz back in here, um, you know, as if everything's fine, I'm sorry. No, you've got a brand new cycle now. The world is literally at your feet. The world is your oyster. You may meet this person overseas as well, especially if you need to travel for work or on a holiday here. This person could be worldly traveled. In fact, this new person could be a fellow Aquarius, a Leo, which actually Leo is considered your perfect match across the wheel. Um, of star signs could even be a Scorpio or a Taurus you got that eight of pentacles again you may meet this work person related to work Virgo energy they're coming across as the hermit as well 
and look at that we have the slowest night now, the Knight of Pentacles. You're going to take it slow with this new person, but it is promising because you have the Empress, Taurus Libra energy, giving birth to someone new. You may wonder why this happens. Now, after more than 25 years of doing readings, I have seen this constantly. It might be a test. It might be the chance to permanently close this cycle. But every time we have someone new, more often than not, we also have someone from the past coming around the same time here. Now, I think this is almost like your spirit team showing you, hey, Aquarius, you can go back to this, but look at this. And honestly, I'm seeing someone here that has gone through the same stages as you. You're both being represented as the wise sage, the hermit, where both of you are really grown up. Spiritual lessons have been learned and they're coming with the Ace of Pentacles. Very promising. More, please. Let's talk about this Wheel of Fortune. The Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, here they come to make an apology. We pretty much got all the nights, didn't we? So there's going to be now until the end of the year, lots of messages, but lots of changes as well. Of course, I want to make you feel romantic. They're coming back for a reunion here. Now, some of you may want to go back to this person and that is fine. For those that don't, we've got someone new here. It is meant to be beautiful. More please with that 10 of pentacles. There you are. The sky king is the king of swords. That's Aquarius energy. Male or female does not matter, but you've got a lot to say to this person. I think you're really angry. You went through the stages of sad, of grief here. But now it's like, yeah, now you're really seeing the injustice and the toxicity that we don't have to always give into temptation when we see someone, you know, attractive in front of us, for example. You've got a lot to say to this person. In other words, unload. You've got a lot to unload off your shoulders here. Let's talk about this devil. The chariot. Here they come ruled by cancer yeah I'm, I, it's weird i'm picking for a lot of you this step there's, there's some kind of distance between you and this person absolutely um you know they could be interstate couple of hours drive that could literally be overseas they are literally obsessed here about moving forward with you it's about that sheer determination they've got this tunnel vision i need to go back to aquarius and here you are saying oh, hang on a second not so fast you may forgive this person but you will never ever forget what they did to you. Wow. Eight of Pentacles, please. Look at that. We got the Four of Pentacles twice. Capricorn energy. This person does not want to let you go. They refuse to let you go. I'm also hearing that they're keeping gifts. You might have, you know, when the relationship was going beautiful, they were keeping gifts some, or cards, letters, something that you said you sent to them, you gave to them. I think they're going to bring that up. It's like, I kept it. I never threw it out. And you're like, yeah, okay. And what? Who cares? I'm not saying that you're cold here. Absolutely not. You're being logical about this and you're putting yourself first. Always remember that Aquarius. You are the most important person in your life. Let's talk about, we've got the Four of Pentacles twice. We've got the Emperor. The Divine Masculine. Your perfect match, Aquarius, is waiting for you. Because we've got here the Emperor and the Empress. That's Aries energy, Taurus, Libra. You're not in the same spread. This has not happened yet. This person is coming back, but you'll be taking action with someone else. Yep. Wow. I have a feeling... I'm so inclined to say, Aquarius, that you will meet this person somehow connected through your professional life. Let's talk about that Eight of Swords. Two of Cups. The true cut of love, Cancer energy. That's why you're holding back. Aquarius, please do not give up on love. This says now, now is not the time to give up on those you love. If you know who this other person is, it is just a matter of time. It could even be within two months that this person reaches out to you. I feel like you'll be reaching out to them. No wonder you're holding back now with this past person. I'm going to be very honest with you because I win nothing by lying, Aquarius. I do not like this past person. I don't. I don't. But this new person, wow. This is like the, the two of cups is like the ideal connection. It's soulmate connection. You're being represented here as the perfect match, the emperor and the empress. Wow. I'm definitely thinking this person is either worldly traveled or you'll meet them overseas. Now let's talk about that Knight of Wands. The death card, Scorpio energy. I think you're going to put an end to this. Yep. Yeah, I think you will. You're going to be taking those actions to end it to be with someone else. 
So this is the question, Aquarius. Whether you know this other person or not, either way, they're making big, bold moves to be with you and you will take those actions to meet them in the middle as well. It's meant to be because, see, the death card is also the card of fate, transformation, transition, rebirth here. There's a brand new version and I'm really proud of you, Aquarius, because the majority of everybody goes back to what is familiar, what hurts us, what's toxic, but not you. No, 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 no. You're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on. Let's talk about the Hermit. The Ten of Pentacles again. So in the near future, you're really thinking, what do I want? You want security, you want stability, commitment or marriage. We've got it twice now. Where is it? Didn't we see the Ten of Pentacles somewhere? Or am I making this up? All right, doesn't matter. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. There it is. I knew I saw it. <laughs> the Ten of Pentacles twice. So both people want commitment and marriage with you. Interesting. But the question is, what do you want? I don't see you going back to this past person. More please about the ending. Your consequences, Libra energy. This is justice. I'm seeing here perhaps there could be a topic of separation, of divorce. With what? Three of Swords, the third, they're the third party. There we go. I knew it. That's why they're coming back. They're coming back now because, um, you know, there's no more third party. But what do they want with you? More, please. Yep, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. They want commitment and marriage. More, please. And there you are indecisive. The Two of Swords again. And the Sky Queen. So now you've got the ultimate it couple of the King and the Queen of Swords. Are you going to give a person a piece of your mind? Not being rude, but you're going to be quite assertive. This new person, this very well may happen within the next two months. And it's destined because you have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Death card, Destiny, Fate, all those. It's pretty much the same thing here, Aquarius. If you do want to go back to this person, just please bear in mind here that, yeah, okay, there might be a separation or divorce happening between them, which is why they feel now I'm ready to commit to you. If you're going to say no to this person, because I'm seeing two different outcomes here, two different groups watching this, we have someone Someone here that absolutely, you could literally call this love at first sight. The Two of Cups, the Emperor, the Empress. And they're already serious because they're coming in here with um, the Ace of Pentacles. You're both being represented as the Hermit. And with the um, Knight of Pentacles, you're both going to take this slow. But I definitely see you're going to meet this person um, connected to other areas of your life, professional areas of your life. It's going to seem random, but it's not. It's fate and it's meant to be. It's going to be better than ever. Aquarius. Beautiful reading, very powerful, two different outcomes, but um, you cannot lose. Either way, you're in a position of power. Thank you for joining me, Aquarius. Um, also, go to the community page of this um, of my channel. I have made an announcement that toward the end of the year, I will be opening up personal readings again, um, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one with me. And well, I um, it's pretty full on when I do my <laughs> past readings, um, my personal readings, sorry. But apart from that, I will see you in the next couple of days with a brand new topic. And I thank you for joining me and I wish you the very, very best Aquarius. There is nothing that you cannot do. And I'm proud of you. Take care. Bye.